so for battery installation, what you do is just take the cover off, the battery door cover off, and take the stock uh, six uh, cell battery out, or five cell, I guess it is, sorry, and uh, you can insert the uh, lossy uh, lithium battery in there at an angle. It doesn't, inside the battery box on both sides here and here, there are some rubber strips. You can remove those to give yourself a little bit more space, and you pretty much put your wires through so they go into the other side, and then um, basically press the battery down there as far as you can to, you don't want to bulge out the side too far, but it, it goes in deep enough so you can actually get the door back on and reinsert the screw, and uh, after you've done that, all you end up with is um, a slight bulge at the side of the truck, which is really no big deal. Let me get a screwdriver here. Screwdriver. Oh. You put that back in. Alright. And basically, all you end up with is a slight gap right here. I don't know if you can see that real well. But if you want to make it somewhat more waterproof, not that a Revo is waterproof anyway, you can always run a silicone bead or something right there. I really don't want to do any cutting or chopping inside the battery box to make it weaker, but I suppose if you wanted to do it to your truck, that would be great. I can pretty much live with the gap. Anyway, so basically, once that's all installed like that, the Ross unit fits right in here next to my receiver. I do have a really small receiver in this truck. I'm using the um, Airtronics, uh, you know, $99 three-channel special. I'm sure that's a pretty popular radio with a lot of people. Well, anyway, and then you uh, run all the wires up here, including the um, charge wire for the lithium battery. And so anytime you need to uh, charge the car up, all you have to do is take the cover off. Oh, I, by the way, I forgot to say, I put a little, um, I cut a little uh, cutout right there so that the Ross wiring will go out the side. I'm going to eventually shorten all this wiring so it's not so long. And... Uh, once you got everything nice and tucked in there, sorry, I'm trying to hold the camera and do this all at the same time. Almost got it. There we go. Just like factory, I don't have it on all switch here anymore because I removed it. And so you could put a piece of tape or what have you over there to keep dirt and stuff from getting in there, but it's uh, no gaps or anything. It fits like it was actually made for the dang truck. So there you go, part three on uh, Ross and Arrivo. I'll make a new video here pretty quick once I get it to where I can get it started and uh, all that good stuff and show you it running around. Okay, thanks.